How do you go about keeping track and keep moving forward all the plans and ideas that you have? And how many times have you started something with the absolute best of intentions or had a vision in the future of doing something great? But then maybe a couple of days into it, or even shorter than that, it's never got any further than that. It's just stopped. How many times have you been to a really brilliant conference or workshop that you've been buzzing about and your best intentions are to go back and put in place all the plans, all the exercises, all the great ideas that you learnt there and you get back to the office and the book goes in the drawer and it comes out maybe next year when you go to that same conference and put next year's book on top and they never move forward. Well today I'm going to show you how we go about planning with our clients the most important things in their lives. It's about segmenting and structure. Here we are with a simple structure to outline all of your goals, the things that you want to achieve. Because remember, we've just created this beautiful vision of the future, where it is you really want to go, how you really want to be. But how do we actually put this into action? How do we put the plan around this? Well, we're using a simple grid. Here, I've filled one in already, and here's a close-up of it. And as you can see, along the top here, we have a number of different timescales. One week, one month, three months, a year, three years and so on. And actually this can develop to a whole lifetime. Then on the left hand side, we have things such as health, spirit, work, travel, family, community, creativity. And there could be anything in there. But really these are all the most important things to you that you can fill in, the things that you want to achieve as you go through your life. So if you have a whole lifetime aim to feel free, relaxed, or continually be healthy, that's your lifetime goal, but we still need to break this down into manageable different steps. Here's a digital version so that you can actually have a really good look at it and start to create your own around the various topics and timescales that are important to you. In this example, I've started with one week. One of the key things with all plans is we actually need to start to take action, to start to do something so we've got a chance of moving forward and succeeding. Secondly, the, the month, the first month, might well be to actually start doing the activity start doing something productive that's going to lead you to where it is that you really want to get to. Using health as an example for somebody who wants to ultimately run a marathon, in week one they might want to start planning it. Secondly, to actually start to take those mini steps for somebody who's never ever run before, three months into it they may well be up to running 3k and then within a year 10k and then in three years time actually completing a marathon. And so as financial planners the important thing to us is to really understand what our clients value deeply. What are the things most important in their lives? And when are they going to take place? Because that's the time we need to ensure that either their assets have accumulated to a certain level or we're able to free up some of those assets to give them the time, to give them the resources to follow those most important things in their lives. And be it a lifetime trip to Africa and around the world cruise or actually freeing up more of our clients time so that they can do work in their communities, then by understanding all of this and planning properly, that's the way that we can avoid regret, create happiness and help people find their real purpose in life. So there's the structure and now you know where you're going. And the key thing with this is to update it on a regular basis. Keep focused, be aware and remember to schedule this in your calendar. It's all very well having great intentions and a great plan, but if we forget to do it, it's been pointless. And remember, the key thing of all of this is monitoring. Because what gets monitored gets done.